Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex. And today we're going to talk about something that I keep getting questions on from confused fans on social media. The Shield Archive. What is it? What are these tiny little icons that say archive on them that I'm getting in World Boss Ultimate and World Boss Legend and Shadowland and Dimension Missions and Story Mode Farming? What are these? Where are they going? I go into my inventory. I try to find them. They're not here, Alex. What's going on? How do I use... I got uh, one of the Infinity Stones, Alex. How do I use them? So I'm going to demystify this for you today. We've talked about it a little bit from the patch notes and from the first impressions video, but I wanted to give a more dedicated video to this. I know this is not the most interesting topic because it is sort of passive farming. It's, it's basically just something that's going on in the background that you don't have that much uh, influence over. You can influence a little bit more sometimes, more or less, but generally speaking, this is something that you're just sort of going to unintentionally ignore and over time you'll fill these out and they're actually really cool but there's really no way for you to actively engage with the vast majority of these shield archives and then i will finally talk about a the rewards and b uh some of the outrageous costs for some of the uh, actual archive items so essentially we have a bunch of these different archive folders like world of ruin and time travel and history of magic and when you open up the folder let's say time travel you will see different items some of the folders have more items some of the folders have fewer items in general on average they have about three or four items uh, and so the items in here will be relevant to the folder name so time travel has the time platform and again these are items that exist in the marvel universe whether they exist in the game or not like for example kang's battle armor which he creates as he well he actually creates it in order to time travel because it gives him all these different types of protections and it allows his body to basically uh, travel backwards and forwards and around in time and space without uh being massively damaged by the the ramifications of that is kang in marvel future fight no is this a clue? Is this a sneak peek? Is this a hint that we're going to be getting Kang? It could be. Uh, we won't know until we actually get another actual sneak peek of Kang. But for now, and I've already had people tag me on Twitter about this, for now this does not indicate that Tang, that Tang, that uh, Kang, <laughs> Tang is like that that drink that you mix the, oh, the like nasty like orange flavor. Anywho, this is not uh, proof that Kang is coming to Marvel Future Fight. But maybe the devs are leaving us clues. You never know, but I'm just saying it's it's not proof. And then we finally have the convergence device. And so all these items have their own flavor text. You can see here special armor crafted from rare synthetic alloys from the fourth uh, 40,000 40th century. Wow, I can't read. Um, so this is really cool. But what does it really do? Well, the answer is not much. If you collect Kang's battle armor and you can collect it by clicking the location button and you can get it from these dimension rifts. So you basically have to wait for the day. If it's locked, it means that it's not today's dimension rift. You have to wait for the emergency dispatch dimension rift. Um, and then you can open that dimension rift. You can play and you have a chance of these dropping. Once you get four of them, then it will complete the item. You'll have the item, but it doesn't actually exist. It doesn't take up a slot in your inventory. You can't do anything with it. Um, but it goes towards your progress on the time travel bar, that folder, and it also goes towards the progress on the rewards, which for this folder is Phoenix Feathers and Emcron Crystal. So basically, that's how it works. You can see every item has a number underneath it, so it's 0 out of 2 for the time platform, it's 0 out of 4 for Kang's armor, and it's 3 out of 14 for the convergence device. I already have 3 convergence devices, so I haven't actually collected the item yet. I've just collected pieces of it or fragments of it, if you will. And I've been collecting that from the uh, story mode fragment farming. So this is basically how it works. And when you complete one of these, let me find one that I have more on. Collector's Vault number two. I'm actually pretty close to getting my first reward on this one. Because as you can see, I'm 43% of the way. And when I hit 50%, I'll be able to collect these Emcron crystals. Now, these rewards here, are they, they seem pretty lackluster. But again, there's nothing that you're doing new. This is not any new content. This is just a bit of flavor to go along with and to sort of pair with all of the nice stuff. So if in another example, uh, this is basically just a new type of wine that they're serving at the dinner table, but you're still having your regular MFF meal, your steak, your potatoes, your vegetables, or whatever you're vegan, you have your um, soy steak kind of thing. I don't know what you want to call it, but anywho, you kind of get what I'm saying. So the, the wine, which doesn't actually do anything, right? Well, <laughs> it does something to you if you drink enough of it, but anyways... Uh, the, the Shield Archive is sort of like the wine, right? It's just a nice thing to pair. It adds some flavor. It adds some profile. It sort of, you know, pulls everything together. 
but it's not actually like it's not giving you any calories it's not giving you any sustenance right so there's not actually much here there are some decent rewards if you if you flip through some of these shield archives archives be like oh a blast book like i could use that i just tier three adam warlock or you flip through some of the other ones you're like oh the luna snow uh power saving mode uh theme that's pretty cool so there's some unique stuff here for sure there's some decent items like the eod or the tcp i believe the it shows up at least once but generally speaking i would say don't really worry about this just sort of farm it passively and if you happen to unlock items then better for you and you can grab some of these uh rewards uh, and then just sort of go on with your daily routine but don't go out of your way i would say my advice is don't go out of your way to farm these because i think you're going to be disappointed with the rewards i don't think this was meant to be something that you focus farm like like d dispatch missions or something like that you know this is just something that's meant to give people who really want to know more about where the game comes from like the history of the game the comics all the lore right they want to know like why is dr strange talking about this kind of stuff why is uh, you know danny rand and blah 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 like i want to know more about the eye of agamotto so you can see here one of the most powerful magical items created by agamotto the like the first sorcerer supreme or whatever you know you have all this information and this just sort of pairs well with the game the last thing that you're really going to get from the shield archive which is again I don't want to stress how I, I don't want to overstate how important this is because I don't want to stress you out and have you worry about it. But you do also get a passive reward from some of the shield archives. I'd like a cat hair in my mouth, which gives you a permanent increases to certain instinct stats. So the instinct system in general has been explored and, and sort of uh, placed into the game in a pretty clunky way. By and large, instinct has a very insignificant impact on the game and gameplay and probably the biggest reason why you know instinct uh, instinct damage exists is because your game seems even more cluttered when you play because you see the yellow numbers and the gray numbers and now you see the blue numbers you can actually combine them uh, i'm not exactly sure which one it is but uh i believe there's one that allows you to basic damage and instinct damage display you can actually swap it so that it just combines them i would recommend you do that because honestly instinct damage is like less than one percent of your character's damage that's how much it matters that's how much it impacts the game right now is there content in the future well i don't know but could there be content in the future that highlights instinct damage even more maybe is instinct damage maybe where the devs are taking the game for like tier four or something like that maybe but for now, the Shield Archive, again, it's, it's going to offer you a very small amount. So Instinct Critical Rate plus 75, that's a flat number. 75, like just the number, that's like 1% Instinct Crit Rate. I don't even know if it's 1%. He might, might be less than 1%, right? Some of these numbers, right? Instinct Dodge, it's not 100% Dodge, it's 100 Dodge. So when you have a uniform option that gives you 1,700 Dodge, and that only increases your Dodge by 10%, so, right, it's going to take more than 100 points of dodge to increase your dodge rate by 1%. There's a calculation here because the cap on dodge is 75%. So you can sort of figure it out. I'm not going to try and, and wade into that um, calculation here because my math is bad enough with a calculator, let alone on the fly. Uh, but yeah, it's basically some effect. So I guess if you total it, you know, if you if you were to complete every single shield archive here, then you would end up having a, like a few hundred extra shield, in, uh, sh extra instinct attack, instinct accuracy, crit rate, crit damage, defense, dodge, whatever. But like I said, it's accounting for such a small percentage of your damage. Even if you have six star artifacts, like if you if you just go and do the math on some of these, it's insanely small. Uh, the amount of damage you're actually getting back and i sort of failing here to figure out but like if you if you look at how much like the justice increase is 250 percent or two sorry 250 and then you just do the calculations on instinct based on the fact that it takes um the full amount of your main stat in which case his is not even justice it's i believe it's order uh and then it takes uh 50 or 25 percent of the other ones it's nothing dude these numbers are so small again it takes more than 100 dodge, the, the, the flat number, right? It takes like maybe, let's say, 175 dodge, the flat number, to give you 1% dodge. So if it's taking 50% uh, of 250, that's 125. 
and it's 125 for what like it's nothing you can see here it, it, bonus instinct accuracy 0.09 percent we're talking about like fractions of fractions of fr like these are incredibly small three percent instinct dodge guys whoa i'm wh like you know it's gonna take a lot bigger numbers uh to actually matter so at the current speed and at the current pace it's honestly something that you're better off ignoring and just being like hey this is a nice small buff it doesn't really matter though and i'm not gonna stress about it because the game is already complicated enough as it is uh, and so i think i've harped on that enough but basically that's that's it for the shield archive i think it's a really cool way of adding fluff i i, I think this is really high quality fluff in marvel future fight it may not be exactly what we need right now but it is something that we deserve right because this game is is a little bit less connected to the lore i feel than it could be and there is definitely holes in the game where they can fill it in with this type of information to sort of make everything feel more connected and more holistic and cool and it's especially cool when you have things that drop in specific areas that match so for example the power stone i just got one today or yesterday uh, it drops from infinity ultron so that makes sense right one of the infinity stones they don't all have to drop from ultron but one of them does because he's wielding the infinity stones in that battle so there's just nice kind of flavor but again this is just like some paprika being sprinkled on your food or this is just a little bit of wine a little bit of chianti going along with your fava beans it's not supposed to be some crazy new game mode this is not some crazy new way to farm and as far as i understand these are one-time rewards so again i caution you from uh, you know against rushing through like really pushing to get the 200 tcp it's not it's a nice reward it's like two days worth of farming it's not bad at all but it's a one-time thing right so if you're going to break your back farming this stuff or, or hoping to get it uh, and then it, you know it ends up just being like oh yeah one-time thing uh, then maybe it's better off that you just have it in the background and when it drops it drops and until then you're sort of just on cruise control farming your other dailies doing your other things uh, and sort of just enjoying this whenever you want to sort of dive in to uh, what sort of what makes the game tick and sort of the comics and stuff like that and, and the, the things that uh, I guess the devs look at when they're trying to formulate new characters new uniforms new new updates or whatever like you know where where this all comes from right the comics and the stories that, that these characters are built on last but not least just from a functional perspective if you have particular shield archive folders that you're working towards and you want to be able to track your progress easily you don't want to have to scroll all the way down to the bottom to get history of magic you can just right next to it on the left you can hit the little favorite and that will always put it to the top so that way you can organize this one by the ones that you're trying to you know keep track of more closely because they have a reward that you want or because you're very close to getting them and, and unlocking the rewards or something like that so hopefully that has demystified the shield archive for you I do really like this sort of thing and I think MFF doesn't do it often enough so that's why I'm basically not critical about it and not you know criticizing it at all um, but definitely the next thing that they add to the game should be something substantial and should be something meaty that we can bite into and enjoy and sort of like you know dive into not not more fluff so sort of a balance of those things needs to happen so yeah hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care